Today, you will be doing a lab activity where you investigate the characteristics of asexual and sexual reproduction. You will be able to determine the advantages and disadvantages of each type based on the data that you collect today. There will be two groups of insects that you will be investigating. The insects in group A reproduce asexually. The insects in group B reproduce sexually. Remember, asexually uh, reproducing organisms, they only need one parent and all the offspring will be genetically identical. And sexually reproducing organisms, they need two parents and the organisms, the offspring that they produce are going to be genetically unique. To start, you're gonna have eight insects in each group. And for each year, your job will be to record the population of insects in your table on slide 13. Here is year one. You can see this is group A on the left side. These insects reproduce asexually. You can tell that there's no genetic variation because all, the, all of these organisms are all the same color. Here's group B. These organisms, these insects, they reproduce sexually. You can tell that there's genetic variation because they are of different colors. So this is year two. You're gonna notice that they reproduced and there are more insects in each of these groups. So you're gonna count how many um, organisms are in group A and how many organisms are in group B. You're gonna record this on your table in slide 13. Then you'll move on to year three. You're gonna continue to see how the populations grow in both of these groups and record the numbers in the table. Here's year four. You will continue to count how many organisms are in, are in each group and you will see how those numbers are changing and you'll be able to compare between the asexual group and the sexual group. Here's year five. Again, you're gonna count how many uh, um, organisms are in each um, group during this year. Maybe you can figure out a mathematical way to be able to count these or figure out how many um, offspring will be in each year. A special event occurs between year five and six. I'll read from the bottom. Oh no, a disease has entered into the population. The disease will cause all insects with blue phenotype to die. You're gonna notice that something special happened and it's very different between group A and B. You'll be able to figure out some disadvantages and advantages of each of these um, reproducing strategies um, and you'll be able to make conclusions at the end of the lab. Here's year six, and this is the outcome of that special event. Again, you're gonna count how many organisms are in each group, and you're gonna keep track of that in slide 13. So this is slide 13 where you keep the data. So what's gonna happen is this table on the top, that has the information for asexual group A organisms. You're gonna keep the population numbers in this table. Group B, this is the sexually reproducing organisms on the right side. You're going to keep all the data on this table on the bottom. You're going to see in this first column here, you're going to write down how many organisms are from the previous year. And you'll copy that down from this column on the previous uh, row. For this first column, you'll write down how many organisms are from the previous year. Then you're going to write down how many offspring were produced this year in year two. Then you will write the total number of organisms in this column right here. Then you'll continue to do that for all of these rows. Lastly, you will answer the reflection questions. Using the data, you'll be able to come up with conclusions